Hi guys, hope you're doing well, and Merry Christmas. We have a video here from a strong and independent woman, who surprisingly enough, no longer wants to be strong and independent. So, we are going to hear what she has to say, and I will try my best to dissect it using the little knowledge that I have about women, and the world. So, with no further delay, let's get right to it. Y'all, I'm tired. I no longer want to be an independent woman. Forget that I-N-D-E. Mm -mm, I'm good. I want to be a housewife. Listen, the next man that has good credit, a stable home, finances is straight, baby, I'm marrying you. I, yes, yes, sir, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm not an alpha female no more. I've learned my lesson. Baby, I will be submissive to you. Baby, I will cook for you. I will clean for you. Yes, daddy, whatever you need. You want sex when you want it? Yes, sir, you got it. Baby, you want a meal at 3 o'clock in the morning? Yes, sir, you got it. Take care of me. Because this working two jobs, although I love being a registered nurse, I love my profession, let me just work as needed. Let me work when I want to work. Um, I'm over it. I'm tired, y'all. So, hook up, hook, hook in your look. I'm looking for, I'm looking for a husband. I'm ready to be a housewife. Okay, let's get the dissecting started. For full disclosure, I don't know who that woman is, and I have nothing against her. If her intentions are good, good for her. If they aren't, may she gets what she deserves. That being said, this kind of thing is typical for most women when they reach a certain age and that age is usually right around the time they are about to turn 30 or maybe they are already in their 30s. But here's the problem, at least from my point of view. Why did they choose the path of the strong and independent woman who needs no man in the first place? Don't get me wrong, women should be strong and independent, but you know what I mean when I say, the strong and independent woman, in regards to modern society. Now that I have made that clear for those who seat at the back, let's continue. Modern women give their best years to their employers, and to Chad, and Tyron, and the Pookies and the Ray Rays of the world. Basically, they have their fun. But the moment they start to knock at the door of their 30s, now they want a husband. More often than not, most of them discard the man who has the characteristics of a father and a husband, and they choose to get invested with the drifters, the CEO who's old enough to be her father, the bad boy, and the kind of men whose life choice will lead them either in jail or six feet under. And when they are done having their fun, more precisely, when they can no longer get the attention of those kind of men, and when the reality of life is starting to settle in, now they want a husband. Modern women want to have the option of having it both ways, and commit to whichever one they feel like committing to at the moment. They want to have the freedom of sleeping with whoever they want, but they also want to have the privilege to be treated like a lady. And even after they have realized that, they are in decline, and they say, okay, it is time for me to think about settling down, they still require the man to be of a certain standing. Even though most of them have been passed around the block, and their looks is decaying, they still require the man to be high value. Yeah, the woman in the video is talking about cooking, cleaning, and bedroom fun. That sounds good. But guess what? That's what they all say until you actually put a ring on it. And we mustn't be ignorant about the realities of the world we live in. For the most part, depending on the state or the country, the moment you say yes, I do, she is not obligated to fulfill and or live up to those engagements. The moment you say yes, I do, all the power that you have as an individual, is transferred to her and the government, but you better believe that you will be expected to uphold your end of the bargain. We live in a gynocentric world, more precisely in westernized countries, women are incentivized not to honor their engagements and they are rewarded and praised for breaking those engagements, if they can wreck a man's life in the process, you better believe that the praise will be even greater. And if you have paid close attention to her rant, she said that, she only wants to work when she wants to work. Not that I will work when the man who will be my husband will tell me. I love my profession. Let me just work as needed. Let me work when I want to work. She wants a man to be responsible of her well-being, but she still wants to be in control of her own life. I don't know who she is but I'm not surprised because this is how modern women think. This is how they are raised by their parents, the school system, the media, and the entertainment culture. Women are taught from a very young age that they can have it both ways, and change jackets whenever they see fit. Quite frankly, I don't know. For real, I don't know how stupid women think men are, but they must be thinking men are pretty stupid. 
to a certain extent I can understand why women think that way, since they are still men out there who are willing to make a wife out of a woman, who willingly chose to give their best and tight years to the government, to their employers, to the carousel, to the wild parties, and what not. Modern women are taught and empowered to use their youth for their own enjoyment, and when they reach their thirties and are getting close to the wall, they want you. No, they require you, the man, to come in and do the right thing and commit your best years to them. Basically, modern women want to eat their cake alone, and they want you to share your cake with them, with absolutely no strings attached. The audacity and entitlement of modern women is just out of this world. The modern woman thinks that, you can change your status with the blink of an eye. The same way it takes hard work and dedication for a man to be successful. A woman must also work hard to acquire skills to be a wife. You can't be whoring yourself out from your late teens to late twenties and turn around and say, I'm done with that life, now I want to be a wife. But once again, this kind of mindset is emboldened by men's actions. Men who have little to no control over their loins, and no standards, that they are ready to get down and dirty with any humanoid-looking being with a peace sleeve. Just sad. It is really sad because men like that are the kind of men praised in today's society. Men with no spine and or spirit. Men who are willing to settle for the barest minimum even though they work themselves ragged into an early grave. Just sad. This will be all for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, and a sub would be awesome. Stay safe out there, and have an amazing and blessed, end of the year holidays. Peace.